Give me just a second. Quentin, my good man. It seems we'll be spending the night. I thought as much. Where do you find that one? Oh, him. You won't believe me if I told you. Quinton here is an old friend, one who is sympathetic to our cause. Sympathetic? Then he knows about your little sanctuary. I would never have guessed so many people were bent on setting us free. When last I checked, the mere thought would only a trip to the gallows. I am well aware of the risks, as I am of the rewards. And what could be more rewarding than your very own dominant of fire? A dominant? Here? Now that I would like to see. <sighs> Meaning you haven't. No, but nothing passes unnoticed in Lost Wing. Take your brand, for example. People will see that at once. And I need hardly tell you how they will greet the inquiries of a bearer. You are afraid your words will fall on deaf ears. As they have ever since the moment you were marked. Happily, I can provide a solution to your dilemma. As a favor to Sid, that is. Take gonna get this. You will find it has the uncanny power to loosen tongues. You accept the hangman from Quentin? Mothers guide you. Who? Okay. Loosen tongues. All right. This might be Imperial land, but here in Lost Wing, it's his word that's law. But how? You don't need to worry about that just yet. Trust me. Everyone in Lost Wing knows what that seal means. Here, counting our blessings, or put them to good use and find that dominance. Your choice. Let's see if this thing really works. Ah. Master Quinton took a lark into you, I see. And there I was, thinking you were in bed with Sid. Wonder what Gav will have to say about this. Speaking of whom, if you see him, tell him thanks for looking after us. Now, what can I help you with? I'm searching for a dominant of fire. Gav seems to think he might have taken refuge here. We see a lot of bearers around these parts. But I do seem to recall one who commanded the flame. Now, whether or not that makes him a dominant, I can't say. The Waludas certainly took a keen interest in the poor sod. Did you get a look at him? Didn't have a chance. One of the other bearers might have died. Thank you. That a hanged man, I see. Master Quentin must think you're important. It was a good thing you'd done today, getting rid of those bastards. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd be on my way to Ash by now, along with the others. Oh, buggers. These others, was there a dominant among them? A dominant of fire? Might have been, yeah. Royalists seem to think there was, anyhow. A thin bloke all swallowed up in his robes like one of great biggest churchmen. Do you recall anything else about him? Yeah. <sighs> Only that he weren't alone. It was a young maid who went wherever he did, including the church. And wherever the royalists dragged them both off to before you got here. I see. Thank you. Tell me that scowl means you've got good news. So, a shady lad with a hood, and his equally shady lass. Oh. To go on. But, but. I've been thinking, if our friend is a dominant, 
Why not just burn the Royalists to a crisp? There's a reason he's holding back. And I reckon he has something to do with his partner. What makes you say that? One of the villagers I talked to said the two were separated. If the Waluders have her, our dominants like to think twice before starting any fires. Whoever he is, he's shown himself to have a level head. He's careful, cunning, and he doesn't want to be found. This could spell trouble. For us and the Royalists both. <sighs> Still, it'll be a whole lot worse if we set off after them with bleary eyes and empty bellies. There should be a pair of pallets waiting for us back at the inn. Shall we? Now, about those beds. Beds? I seem to recall your request being to spend the night. And for that, the floor will more than suffice. Better than a wet rock, I suppose. <sighs> Next time you're at the hideaway, our floor's all yours. No need for thanks, Sid. This isn't an act of charity. You don't say. In exchange for my floor, I shall be requiring your services. The Royalists saw fit to erect a barricade across the road south when they occupied the village, and failed to remove it when they left. I expect it to be gone before you leave. As you wish. <laughs> it was like, ah, damn it. The following evening. Well, that took longer than expected. First time dismantling the barricade. It gets easier, don't worry. I won't. If we leave now, we'll arrive at the care when the shadows are at the deepest. Unless you'd rather wait. No more waiting. All right, let's go. Unless I know of another shortcut. You should be so lucky. If the Royalists were looking to take the care, they'd have posted sentries to prevent any unwelcome surprises. At least I would have. Well, you should know. Wrong way, friend. Told you. You know what? What are the Royalists thinking? Why take a stronghold they've no chance of holding? When they've no intention of holding it. King is up to something. King? Well, you don't think they're actually going to work, do you? This is one of His Majesty's cunning stunts, and he sent his best to execute it. Oh shit! I forgot about my dodge. I think I've, uh, I think Sid has become a very good bro 
<laughs> okay, that guard saw you, no matter how you look at it. Yes, Garuda. Oh, is it? The light would have engulfed the mines ere long. Besides, you already have your orders. Yes, my liege. The dark swallows more of the realm with each passing day. The land starved of the ether that gives it life. And as the fringes fade, the people flock to the mother crystals, desperate for their blessing. Age for possession of that blessing. It breaks us from within, hastening us to our own destruction. And so you do what must be done. I unite the dominance, that we may bring an end to the strife and found a new order to see us unto tomorrow. The world must be restored, and I will see it so. We might have already had Sidolphus not betrayed us. Him again. Lost you still for his embrace. But... Of course not. My liege. I serve you. And you alone. I remember well the day you first entered these halls. Your pale hand pressed into his, as if he would never let go. That... that was a long time ago. Yours... is the only hand I need. Now... and always. Soon, my dear. Soon all will know. Whose hand it is that keeps them from falling into the darkness? I think I'd rather fall in the darkness. My leash. Never let me go. One of our sentries has failed to report, my lady. Your orders? Pull the men back inside the care, Geralt. He is here then. Have them lead Sid and his little pet to the chapel. I shall entertain them there. So you've come for me after all? No. Came for the other one. Maybe Sid did, but that's not my goal. The 
they're all empty. And are you gonna give up? Sid, this gate. Need some help. Hold the button! There we go. I wonder how heavy that must actually be. No, focus on the one that's almost dead. Keep your distance, boy. Sick of Torvald. Over here. So, where to next? There's no way they didn't hear any of that. where some guards are. Hey, you want to have fun? Okay, someone had to have seen that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just trying. I'm just being realistic here. Fireball in the air. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, go through the door. Come on. Ah, uh, dead bodies. <sighs> what the hell happened here? Yeah, for once it wasn't even me. for 
rare, isn't it? Do I seem so desperate as to grovel at the feet of a false god? <laughs> I was waiting for you. Not for too long, I hope. All this for a midnight chat. Well, let's chat then. Where are the men and women you took from Lost Wing? You mean, where's the dominant? Well, we shall be requiring his services indefinitely. Come back to me, Sidolphus. I need you. Think of all the things we can create together. The world that we can build. You need me. <laughs> Your king needs me. I'm all for building a new world. Just not his. That bastard's dreams are as twisted as his promises are false. And I want no part of it. King Barnabas saved you, and this is how you speak of him. Have you no shred of loyalty? What? To a leader who used me? Like he uses you. You know nothing of me, Sidolphus. You're right. I don't know who you are anymore. Or what you want. I only know what you used to say. That you were tired of running. That you just wanted to be free. Free of it all. You weren't lying to me then, so what changed? What made you think you had to sacrifice who you were to get what you wanted? Sacrifice? I use my talents to my advantage, and you would tell me there is shame in that? If there's no shame, then why do you feel so sorry for yourself? A rousing speech, Lord Commander. I was a fool to believe you might have changed. The only person I feel sorry for is you! I can't do this anymore. Oh, she's gonna go crazy like Garuda. If you would stand between our leash and his dream, then you leave me no choice. Goodbye, Sidolphus. Stand back, Clyde. Oh, am I going to use Sid? Oh shit! This is not like 14. Or you had to keep these two separate. Trust me, chickadees, you're not as bad as the two demons from Devil May Cry. Those guys were the worst. 
then again, that was back when I was a kid. I didn't know any better about weaknesses. Oh god! You are by far the easiest double battle boss I've ever had to deal with. She doesn't look happy, Toggle. Come on. Well, we killed her sister. Ow. Ow! Damn it! Oh god! Are you all right? Do I look all right? <coughs> no, you're not allowed to die. Come on, get up. Get up, soldier! Nope, we're not doing that, apparently. Oh, God. Two will be on her way to collect the Dominant, if she hasn't already. You can't afford to let them leave. Remember, she has wings, you don't. What about you? Before or after I catch my breath. Sorry. <sighs> Come on, Toggle. I got a high potion. Oh, high potion was used. Okay. Well, thank you for giving me the hint of who's going to cast Cure. Alright. Pass through the door. It's funny to me. I just realized they're called Mastiffs. Oh, wait, it's the same dogs as... Okay, I was about to say, if it's an actual Mastiff, that's gonna make me feel bad. Oh, Jesus. No, we need to find the... There we go. Oh, damn it. Not another one of you. Ow, ow. fight Garuda? Come on, let me fight Garuda. I confess I expected more from the old man. And less. 
this from you. This is the second time you've bested my sisters. Men of your talents are rare indeed. Why cost your lot with such undesirables? If it is the hearth you long for, you will find more than enough warmth under my wings. You know exactly what I want. Hand over the dominant, and I'll leave you in peace. You would dare to make demands of me. No, ah, I'm still confident. Um, fool is the shepherd who heeds every bleat of the flock. And I will suffer yours no longer. You're lucky I don't have a gun, lady. Must I spell it out for you, Branded? For how many times I fought Garuda with a gun? No one at all. Ah! I'm little lamb to the slaughter with you. Ow. Okay. Oh. I can't dodge that, can I? Oh god! Go ahead, transform. I was waiting for that. Ah, oh, point blank. Good boy! Don't you dare hurt him. Oh, kick her ass! Are you, uh, are you preaching to the choir on that one? You're a very lonely woman, that's all I gotta say. Woo! 
Uh, what's the point of launching a big attack like that? If I could just dodge it. Oh, don't give me that. You're still got you're above half health. Oh, wait, I broke your stagger. That's why. I'm going to have to insist. Uh, wait, what? Tornado? Oh god! Good boy! Don't push yourself too hard, though! I'm sorry, your head should have popped way off, right off. Calm down for a second! I am busy. Oh god. I am trying to play this while... Okay, before we go forward, I have to figure out why somebody was calling me. There we go. Awesome fight. You are but a branded. I, I, how? How did you do it? How did you even survive? How? The answer is simple, Benedicta. He was fighting for something he believed in. Shut up! Why aren't you dead? We've played your games. Now tell me where he is. Who... What are you? Uh, what's going on?
<laughs> you can't do shit. <laughs> she, she's gone. Yep. What's, what's happening? Give her back. Give her back. Give her back. My lady. <laughs> Where is she? Where is Garuda? What have you done to me? What have you done? Look at me, my lady. We need you here. What the hell is going on? Okay, so is Efrit's role like, you know, I'm Clive, this place is ready to collapse, and I'd rather not be here when it does. If your dominance started this fire, and I'm betting he did, it'll be long gone. Damn it all. Yeah. A diversion is commanded, Your Grace. The villagers escaped in the confusion. As should we. Yes. That's going to be his brother, right? I hope that's his brother. I don't want to think that poor boy died like that. <sighs> oh look, morning has broken. And here come the cavalry, itching to butcher the bastards who made him miss their morning gruel. Come on, if they catch us leaving a burning care, people might jump to conclusions. Right. Wings of chain. Oh, it's only me. Going, are you trying to get yourself killed? It's not me who's been playing with fire. You don't do things by half, do you? This way. Well, it was a lot of fun blowing up the place, but uh, unfortunately, that was not me. I didn't get to have fun. I only got to have fun by beating up a poor woman who just needed help uh, mentally. <laughs> Good question. Someone who didn't have their hands full fighting a bloody harp here, I guess. But what matters is they're safe. Something they wouldn't be had it not been for you, Gav. Just doing my job, like. So, uh, what about his dominant? Gone. And after we were so close. Well, uh, I can track him. Why would you? Sid told us about your family. Lost me onto Imperial Steel. 
Sometimes vengeance is the only thing that keeps you going. Thank you. Go safely, brothers. <laughs> I reckon he likes you. Okie dokie. She went demented. You have to hold on. We're going to get you. What am I going to do? The Barnabas. How long to the coastal road? At this pace, we won't make it by sunset. Oh shit. He'll cast me out like all the others. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? My lady. Well, she just lost her right hand. Carol. What do Band we have there? Bandits? <laughs> That's a good price, I reckon. Well, we'd be doing the slavers a disservice if we didn't praise her work. Stay away! <laughs> it's all right. for not listening to you. Oh! This wretched world! Whoa, whoa! Uh, hi, Garuda. Oh, boy! Oh, no! Are we going to have an Efrit versus Garuda? Sid. Do you feel it too? Garuda. By the flames. That's a big tornado. Mythos. <laughs> you should have gone with the game. Oh, come on, Sid. Clive, I don't think you understand. That's not just windy weather you're wandering into. Benedict's rage knows no bounds. And that's on a good day. I don't want to know what's waiting inside that. But I do. I have to find out. And I'm not turning back. Holy crap, is that a whole bunch of... There are so many. 
let's level up, please. Whoa! Man, am I on fire? Why am I on fire? Boy. I will fight every single one of them just to get XP. Ow. He's in there. I know it. I don't know. I think uh, he's calling towards you over there so you could turn into Ephraim and you could do the dirty work. Just saying. That's my theory at this point. I think Ephraim wants you to do some evil shit. Okay, so that was him. Wait. Live. Was that the dominant? The man who killed my brother. Are you absolutely certain? I've seen him every night for the past 13 years. Watched as the flames of his icon took Joshua. Ow. You had to kick him? <laughs> well, I mean, of course, uh, you know what? I shouldn't complain. We're gonna laugh, that's Joshua. Awakening. Where did he go? That was kinda wicked. Oh, that was a creepy laugh. Hi, Garuda. Garuda has other plans. Oh, yeah, that's Garuda for you. Oh, there goes that. You're kind of floating there, buddy. I see that one foot. You called me. Why? He wants you to fight Garuda and kill it. That's my only assumption.
Having lots of fun with this one. That laugh. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, we played the we play run. Oh, jeez. I hope I'm doing this right. Jesus, there's too much going on. Oh, right up the ass, apparently. All right. It's Earth. Wait, no, that's just a wave of my sword. I was about to say. There goes a nail. There goes a talon. She did. It said slain, but I don't know. I don't feel too good about this one. She's not done. Oh, she regrew that. Okay, all that worked for nothing. Hey, Garuda, uh, you may want to run while you still can.
Uh, Sid, don't go too close. I get to control him. I try, goddammit. Oh, she's kicking my ass now. Alright, stop messing around. There goes an arm. Oh, geez. So detailed. <laughs> so, so much detail. Mura, 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 mura. <laughs> oh, there comes a the kick. Oh, never mind. Latch on to me, why don't you? He is eating that like it's nothing. <laughs> 
I strangling you? <laughs> I think I'm strangling you! Or am I burning you? I don't know. <laughs> Hellfire! Again! <laughs> Garuda slain again! <laughs> so are we gonna brutally murder her like we did Joshua? Oh, everything's gonna fall down. Okay, I was about to say, gonna stay like that? Sid, don't hurt yourself. Did he just become... Did he just become an old man? <laughs> so am I going to use Rama? Look at you, wicked! That's all it took? I don't believe that. He's gonna get back up. Man, Sid's been putting in effort here. You're too nice is your problem. Bloody mess this. Jason was inside you all along. One hell of a line. <laughs> I'll be damned if I know what that means. Is she dead? Why? Why did you have to listen to him? Benner. This can't be what you wanted, can it?
She's alive, isn't she? I'm like expecting a. <gasps> Oh, nope. We're not even gonna get a <gasps> breathing moment. Oh, people still fighting somewhere. Sometime later. Never mind. Happens a little later. Bellinos Tor. Oh! Odin! Holy shit, you look wicked! Oh shit, Bahamut! We're gonna have, we're gonna see Bahamut versus Odin. Sweet. I take it Odin is part of the Empire, though. Oh, am I... Wait, am I taking control? Graphics look different. Oh wait, Muhammad's the Empire? I can't tell with the fucking armor. Wait, that was it? That was all you're gonna do? We formed the cohorts. As what? Okay, so it is the Empire versus uh, uh, the the wool the wool something. Saboteurs. Their attacks are frequent and widespread, even in the Holy Capital. The capital. What if my father? His is radiance he? is safe. But he has ordered the city guard strengthened. We can expect no reinforcements. It is of no matter. The Emperor's safety is paramount. I shall deal with our enemies here. All of them. Oh, come on, Sid. Why do you have to lock him up? It was me. Uh oh. I killed Joshua. Oh, he's bare naked. Surprises. First that trick with Garuda, then whatever the hell that other thing was. Didn't know you had it in you. Do it. Hey. Kill me. <laughs> it was me. I killed him. I killed Joshua. I killed them all. I'm a monster. And I deserve to die! So end it! End it! Oh, please! Please! Ah! Ah! 
I reckon I can take it. If that's what you want. But first, I thought I'd give you the benefit of my timeless wisdom. It seems to me, you see, that since you're still breathing, you might as well make yourself useful. Get dressed. Pretty as you are, you're not my type. <laughs> boy I would still look for the hooded man. The wages of guilt. Oh boy. Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Well, oh, still have a bit of fight left in you. Then listen. I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up the scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. So we're not going to check on... Chickadee upstairs? How long has it been since, you know? So long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Think about it, Clive. The rumors all point to... That was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gab. But we both know that... No buts about it. The Hunter and the Hunted. This is stupid. I'm the dominant of fire. We sent Gav on a wild goose chase. Don't feel good, boy. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, let, let's pet the puppy. Let's feel better. Oh. Oh. It's a Minotaur. Minotaur tar, minotaur tar, minotaur tar, tar, minotaur tar, tar. 
Sorry, I had to do it. Ow! That hurt. Enemy slain. That is such a wicked looking fire. <laughs> Another minotaur, 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 minotaur. Can we not? Don't think about it. Don't do it. Stop looking down. Yep, just as I'm about to make my choice of just uh, annihilating your asses. Get him. That's a dragoon! Killed one of your kind before. Let's do it again. Oh, and he brought a friend. Now that's just a little unfair. Definitely unfair. Thank you, Sid. Clyde, what's the situation? You're late. Gaps in trouble. What? The Imperials are on his tail. We have to get to him before they do. Understood. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? I'll take the dragon. You take the dragoon. <laughs> Oh god! You know what to do, boy. I am master. Think that hurt me? Sorry, lad. Don't know how much help I'm gonna be here. Which way could these bastards? The war goes up. Must come down. Night of the Dying Sun Slain. Not much of a Night of Dying Sun. You know, I don't even know what I was trying to do there. I was trying to think of something clever, but then I just realized, no, 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 that's actually accurate, because he is of the dying. Come on. Oh. Shit.
<laughs> Saved his ass. All right. doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing deers would be over. Thank you. Truly. Gav's a good guy. Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav, I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? There was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But... Who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, it's well enough. You swore you'd avenge your brother's death, that you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. <laughs> Sit. I... Don't thank me. Thank you. Thank you, Gav. Oh, we got a smile. We've come a long way. Uh, hi. No birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running I, out of time. I see blonde hair. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Back to where it all began. It's Joshua. I was right, Joshua! He must be stopped. Who? Oh, my arm. Spitting great gouts of fire, he was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you Clive. on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Right. Go to her, you fool. <laughs> right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? <laughs> All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. <laughs> It's true. 
true then. It really is you. It is. Clive. It is Jill. Okay. You're alive. So are you. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Taya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield or see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. What? What happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? Oh boy. It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire. One responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night. Go back there to Phoenix Gate. I'll go back to where the PTSD started. And so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I. You'll be needing a change of clothes then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. What? <sighs> Sorry. I'll see you soon then, Clive. I should make ready too. We have a long journey ahead of us. I thought I told you to make yourself scarce. Your friend needs to get dressed. What about me? I need a new dress myself. A new get up. Get new outfit. We're looking at half a dozen. Up. I can leave you... 
What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. Off you go, then. I should probably say thank you to Gav, too. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. And not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm Aww. just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care. Oh, he's embarrassed. Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Oh. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady. Ready. And off we go on to another adventure, back to Rosaria. Mm. I should be getting to bed soon, so that way I can be ready for Dragon's Dogma 2 when it comes out. Rosaria, it's been 13 years. For this breeze. The smell of the grass is just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I couldn't. Rand did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. Man, look at those blue eyes. Damn. The Imperial Province of Rosaria. We should press on. Homecoming. Why is the Empire always gotta the hill must be fuck the rest. things? Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier. Sworn to protect my Oh no, okay, enemies. Yeah, antelope just like in 14. Except for these ones actually make me feel bad. Oh, uh Yeah, big okay, big horns. They were a lot bigger in 14. Get him, boy. Woo! Jesus! Is that everything? 
I have not had my fill. I want to level up. Fight me! Wait, what about his first mission? What? Do not disturb me! Ah, you bastard! A crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, Jeez. You understand me, don't you? I need your help. These blasted birds must have caught whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. It was very late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. What secrets do we have over here? Another big horn! Are you the stable master? I was asked to deliver this to you. This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart's surrounded by wild chocobos. Huh. Sounds about right. Lab it full of Gizal greens, no doubt. Crowned with him, if I know him. He's but... greens. Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the car up tight, the smell gets out, and birds come running from miles around. Don't get me wrong. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy. As our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. Well, I ain't going back to him. He ain't my master. <laughs> Fingering? What? <laughs> what am I looking at? The following cheatery will be repaid with a swift boot to the arse. M mucking? Stalking? Stack? Stalking? Stacking? Packing? Peaking? Palming? Foisting? Fingering? <laughs> Fingering butthole. <laughs> Excuse me, would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rose area. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. Okie dokie. What we got going here? 
Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? The Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. Oh, we can jump that gap. I'm in you since it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. Your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for me. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. She's were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you. And that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. Nice. Look at that pillar of flame. Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter. I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around and I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Well, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, eh? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but I it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. It slipped your mind? Dude! That bridge has been waiting for you to be fixed! Oh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help, and sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right. She'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. I want to climb. Why can't I climb? Climb, damn you. Climb. Climb, Clive. <laughs> ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? <sighs> we did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Thank the founder for that. It was lucky we found it when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They've nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. He can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. We'd be delighted.
quest complete. All right, how long has it been? About three hours. for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison. I let them deal with it. What the fuck? Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. What? I've been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, you weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. What the fuck? Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now, they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness, the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. I'm pretty sure you don't have to. And we'll see it at an Abbey, Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. Yeah, he's seen enough darkness in his lifetime. And her, as a matter of fact, she's seen enough darkness too. I knew that children were tested, that a bearer's fate was decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. I know, but for a child to be blamed, to be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? No. The hell? Oh, it's a crab. It's a mud crab! Oh, the big turtles! I like turtles. And he bounced me off like an ass. Ow. Okay. Oh, chocobos and mud crabs. Oh. Uh. I I do not feel good about this. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, chocobos. I'm so sorry. Oh, don't cry like that. Oh. Oh, that made me feel bad. Oh, it's all for the XP though. Oh, okay. And there's more chocobo. So sorry. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm. Yep. This game is reminding me of... Just reminding me. 
I am a horrible person. Let's go and see. So sorry. I am so sorry. I know I keep saying it, but I do feel bad. But if Final Fantasy's taught me anything, I need levels. I need XP. Now, granted, the only chocobo I do not care, uh, that I do care about, or, no, that I don't care, yeah, grammar, a chocobo that I don't mind killing one bit is a red one, because I will never forget, in 14, how the bastard killed me with Meteor. And there's a vacuum cleaning go up up there. We came to offer a donation from Martha. I see. Then please follow me. Oh, no problem. Yeah, even though it's kind of kicking me in the gut right now. the blight as it does every bearer forced to use their gift oh never mind With each draw on the ether their bodies petrify till all that remains is stone and pain and so they are cast aside there is nothing either martha or i can do to change that but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. What's your other favorite games to play? Uh, Dragon's Dogma, uh, which I can't wait for uh, tomorrow to roll around. Oh, and he's gone. Uh, Dragon's Dogma, uh, God Eater, just anything that really catches my eye. I shouldn't say catches my eye. My own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Uh, their final moments may be moments of peace. When next you see Martha, I'm not, I'm not too picky as long as it's got a good story and or work like, uh, I would love to get back into it. Uh, Dragon Age. And uh, Baldur's Gate. We should get back to Martha's rest. What else is there? That was also Elix. We should. I would like to play Elix, but again, I don't have really time for that. 
All right, Martha, what are you going to say? Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift. So they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength. What little of it I have. Use profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours... Aye. They're my property. At least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who have passed mend and... But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You got questions that need answering, ain't you? Man, it is depressing. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> oh, oh what'd you forget? We have other friends in this area. Wear this, and they'll know you for one of us. The slumbering chocobo. I know that you will always be welcome here. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Ho 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 ho! I respect the lady! Alrighty. And thus, this is where I shall end it. I will continue more some other time, but tomorrow and the next day after, I will be playing Dragon's Dogma, for I have been waiting 12, 13 years for that damn thing. So, <laughs> if you liked my video, please follow on Twitch, subscribe and like my videos on YouTube, share with your friends, let them know about me. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> I'm ready to go to bed now. Everyone, have a good night, good day, whatever time frame you're in. Stay safe, stay in good health, and I will see you tomorrow. Or tonight. Tomorrow? Tomorrow, tonight. Whatever 12 a.m. Uh, is for some people. Anyway, bye!